Shots were fired in what's being called an assassination attempt on former President Donald Trump during his rally in Pennsylvania yesterday evening. It's been confirmed he was shot in his right ear. Secret Service says the suspected shooter and a person attending the event were killed. Two others are critically hurt. There's a lot to break down with still many questions on how it happened. We have team coverage this morning, starting with Sabrina Franza. Take a look at what happened. Secret Service agents swarmed former President Donald Trump and rushed him off stage after a gunman fired shots during his rally in Butler, Pennsylvania. We had what we're calling an assassination attempt against our former president, Donald Trump. It's still an active crime scene. Trump said he was shot by a bullet that pierced the upper part of his right ear. On his Truth social media platform, he wrote, quote, I knew immediately that something was wrong and that I heard a whizzing sound, shots, and immediately felt the bullet ripping through the skin. A New York Times photographer captured this image of what appears to show a bullet racing by the former president's head. The FBI identified the gunman as 20-year-old Thomas Matthew Crooks of Bethel Park, Pennsylvania. They say he fired shots from outside the secure cordoned area of the rally atop an elevated structure. He starts shooting. Bow, 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 bow. Four to five shots rang out. Officials say the gunman was shot and killed by a member of the Secret Service counter assault team. The FBI called it surprising that the gunman was able to fire at the stage before he was killed. We do not currently have an identified motive, although our investigators are working tirelessly to attempt to identify what that motive was. Last night's rally in Pennsylvania was former President Trump's last before the Republican National Convention gets underway here in Milwaukee. Right now, plans are underway to expand the security perimeter around this venue. President Biden spoke with Trump Saturday evening. He condemned the attack. There's no place in America for this kind of violence. It's sick. It's sick. It's one of the reasons why we have to unite this country. This is a tragic incident that occurred. Um, we're not in a position to start second guessing how or why or anything else at this point. Just know that it will be thoroughly investigated. Trump was treated at a local hospital. He arrived at Newark Liberty Airport early Sunday morning. Sabrina Franza, CBS News, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. The Secret Service says it's currently adding more agents to help increase security moving forward. Plans are in the works to expand the security perimeter at the Republican National Convention, which Trump's campaign announced he will attend. The FBI is now the lead agency handling the investigation.